what happened to my daughter? What happened to Sandy Glenn? What happened? It's the key question the Bland family has and the reason why they're taking legal action. Good afternoon, I'm Rob Johnson. And I'm Kate Sullivan. Today, the Bland family filed a wrongful death lawsuit. Bland was found dead in a jail cell in July. CBS 2's Jim Williams reports the family blames the state trooper, the jail guards, and their bosses. Sandra Bland's mother said she was confident her daughter did not kill herself, but... Anything is possible. I wasn't there. But as a mother... My inner is telling me that she did not do that. Still, in the family's lawsuit, they say Trooper Brian Encinia and personnel at the Waller County Jail did a lot wrong before Bland was found dead. Get out of the car! And then you I will light me? you up! The lawsuit accuses Trooper Encinia of assault and violating Bland's constitutional rights during the July 10th traffic stop. At the jail after Bland was arrested, the family says jail personnel should have kept Bland safe, yet they placed Bland in a cell alone with inappropriate items, a large garbage can, garbage bags, exposed beams, and cords. Bland was found dead on July 13th. Officials ruled it a suicide. If the facts show, without a doubt, that that was the case, you know, I'll have to be prepared to deal with that. But the bottom line is she never should have been inside of the jail, period. Geneva Reed Veal explained her Bible was keeping her from, quote, screaming and falling out on the floor. Sunday dinner, we had one minus at the dinner table, okay? And if I didn't have this, I would be torn up, okay? The family is angry. Trooper Encinia is still on the job and asking the Justice Department to investigate the entire case. The Texas Department of Public Safety, named in the lawsuit, says it does not comment on pending litigation. Live in the newsroom, Jim Williams, CBS 2 News. Rob, Kate. All right, thank you, Jim. And